Hi, I'm Jane Stafford from the School of Weaving, here once again to tell you all about what's happening in our next episode. This is episode nine of season seven, and it's all about M's and O's goes on a date with Huck and Color and Weave. <laughs> so I had so much fun creating this episode. I got a little obsessed, a tad obsessed, and I created much more than this, but in this particular episode, I'm just going to share this, uh, a gamp. I wove two sections on the same one where I threaded my M's and O's differently, a variation uh, that was inspired by Huck. I made all the units, or the blocks, rather symmetrical, alternating them across, and every one of the threadings in the three different columns here are exactly the same, but the overlay of color and weave is um, different in each one. And then, of course, I wove them trump as writ and uh, treadled them differently and came up with some pretty remarkable ideas from one piece. So I'm going to just pull it out so you can take a minute and scan down there. It really is pretty darn spectacular. Now, when you look at that whole piece of cloth, you might think, oh my gosh, there's way too much going on. But this is a tool. A GAMP is a tool to amass a great deal inf of information in one piece, and then we take those things, we isolate those little elements, and just like this, we isolate them, and we say, oh my goodness gracious me, what could I do with that? And, oh, good Lord, would you look at that? <laughs> and, oh my goodness, that's pretty darn spiffy too. <laughs> so, um, I am giving you one column from this gap in this particular episode because it, there's a lifetime of work in it and we will continue on with this in season eight believe it or not there's just too much here to let it go anyway i'm going to give you a quick little sneaky peek at the towels that i created from one column um, this is getting the simplest possible look in the cloth it's called plain weavish these are all done on the same threadings same threading. So the only thing I do is change my treadling, change my use of color. Look at that. Lots of graphic play, playing in here. Some are possibly too busy, but it's all part of the learning experience. M's and O's with color and weave overlaid on top. <laughs> yum, yum, huh? All right. So you could go on for years with that. Then we have a few other pieces done by members of our wonderful dream team. A lovely runner here in greens. Same sort of graphic, slightly different threading a scarf, and a bunch of little napkins. She was just her um, washcloths. She made these, Arlene made these into washcloths, exploring the structure. Hasn't gotten to too much color and weave yet in there, but absolutely beautiful. She has woven hers with Huck, as Huck. Another gorgeous piece of traditional M's and O's that I go over in this episode because this piece of weaving I think is so special. It has everything that I look for in a well-designed towel. Anyway, one of the members, well actually this is from Brenda and she's not a member of our dream team. Anyway, <laughs> tons of fun stuff coming your way. I hope you'll come and join us. <laughs>